Has Last in Tech got a... Yes, that's my Twitter name. Has Last in Tech got a P1S? No. Oh, wait, wait. Yes, I have. I have a P1S. Let's go. This is the Bamboo Lab P1S, and it is not going to be a review. Think of it as a reveal, I guess. I'll do a full poke around later. I'll go through the specs now, but what I won't be able to do is give everything a thorough test and sort of have a look at the, um, the nitty gritty bits. But anyway, the P1S was announced just this last Monday, and I think if my intel is correct, it should be available for purchase now, or if not, very soon. I know exactly what you want to know, though. Well two things okay three things you want to know one what is the difference between this and the p1p two what is the difference between this and the x1c and finally you want to know the price hopefully the last one has been answered by now officially i've been told but i don't want to have to re-record this script if i've got it wrong so i'll put it on screen now that price you see there is surprising I guess. Bamboo Lab are not messing around with the price of the P1S. This is very competitive. Okay, I have an X1C, so this one is going to be the easier end to approach it from. The X1C has a LiDAR and the P1S doesn't, so it's like the P1P in that respect. Consequently, the P1S doesn't need to have the black mystery oven tray style bed that I actually like. But luckily, my other favourite bed is PEI, and that is what they've gone for here. Double-sided PEI, no less. And it's gold, unlike the existing PEI sheets um, that were black. I like black, but I think the gold looks nice against the black of the case. And if you're printing in dark filament, um, especially with the fairly dim lighting comparatively in the machine, then it makes it show up a lot better. The screen on the machine is familiar, I'm sure. That is going to be, I suppose, the biggest reason to buy an X1C over the P1S after today, if that makes sense. They have to differentiate between those two machines. Otherwise, why would you buy the X1C? With the P1S, they have gone with the P1P, which I guess we're going to call the P1 series screen now because it's on two P1 machines. You might have noticed it's not that obvious, but on this machine, we have an enclosure. It's identical in shape and function to the X1C, but it appears to be moulded plastic, whereas the X1C, I'm fairly sure, is aluminium. It's quite hard to tell the difference, though. You have to kind of hold your hand against it to try and tell the temperature. They appear to be very similar. Um, to the eye, you could not tell that one is metal and one is plastic, really, unless you are looking from the inside. The glass door and the lid of the machine are identical to the X1C. And dimensionally, the whole machine is identical to the X1C. This probably makes sense, as do the other things that are identical, because presumably the tooling then doesn't change for a lot of the stuff. I'm not an engineer, but engineers talk about tooling a lot, and that would be one way to drive down costs. I've, I've heard engineers talk about these things, so yeah. In terms of trying to round up the remaining things that this machine has that the P1P doesn't, there was... No point putting a filter, I assume, in the P1P. I don't think it had one. This uh, machine has the same carbon filtration exactly as the X1C, and I'm very happy to see that as this is the proper carbon gravel stuff. This is on a par with, say, the Nevermore filter. This is the good stuff. We also have a camera. As far as I can tell, it's identical to the X1. And we also have the side curtain fan included as well, and that is, again, the same one as the X1. Nozzle-wise, uh, we seem to be looking at, I think this is a steel nozzle. I, I don't think it's brass. It looks a bit yellow, but I, it doesn't look like brass. Hopefully, I'll be able to put that on screen um, if that has been released or in the description if not. The assembly looks the same as the other two in terms of the hot end. I don't see any differences between the hot end apart from, obviously, the LiDAR is missing. The AMS compatibility remains the same as the X1C and P1P. We have a lot of acronyms here, don't we? You have a good solid glass lid now to place the unit on. The P1S combo is what I have been sent, which is uh, using the same AMS as you would expect, and you get three sample reels with that. As a side note, I'm also probably going to get hold of one of these things now, as I apparently have two AMS units, so we're probably going to go there and try eight colours. I know other people have done it before, but... 
I'm going to do it anyway. That will probably be coming in the future. So if I cover any more, then this will start to look like an actual review, which it's not, so I won't. If you have any questions for me, then put them in the comments. I will gather them up and I will answer them in the next one. But hopefully this will be enough for now. As a parting comment, apart from the fact that I've managed to hopefully not mess up any of the acronyms throughout this video, um, this is an interesting turn of events, isn't it? We're, we're having a very eventful 2023 in 3D printing. Comment below if you have any. Um, you could discuss that. I imagine you will. Uh, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.